We all want to get fitter, faster and stronger. But have you ever wondered what sport burns more calories? Cycling or running? Well, today we're going to find out. I feel like I'm doing Ollie's hour record. It's a good question and I'd really like to know the answer and to do so we need to do a not so scientific test. Who can burn the most calories in one hour? A cyclist or a runner? But before we really get stuck into this I'd like to hear from you guys over on the GCN app. Who do you think will burn the most calories? The cyclist or the runner? Head over and vote. I think it's going to be pretty close. I needed to find someone who was willing to participate in the running side of the challenge because I can't run for longer than 10 minutes. So I asked Ollie, but he said he'll never run in a video ever again. Not quite sure what he's on about. So with Ollie out the question, I decided to look elsewhere. There's Dan. Well, no, we've all seen his running ability. That's it's definitely a no-go. What about GTN's Heather Fell? Not only can she swim and bike, but she can also run. And I mean, she can run, she can do it all. And not to mention, she's also an um, Olympic silver medalist. So I'm definitely gonna have my work cut out today. Thank you so much for joining us today, Heather. Are you up for this? Oh, entirely. I'm not exactly sure what I'm up for, Manon, but yeah, I'm here 100%. That's what we like to hear. So it's pretty simple. We're just going to ride and run for a whole hour, pushing ourselves pretty hard to see who can burn the most calories. Oh, simple. I mean, uh, it's simple to do. Maybe maybe not an effort level. Yeah. Who do you reckon is going to come out on top, running or cycling? Well, I personally feel that if it was me against me, running would win. But I don't know how, like, if you're, you have a higher calorie burn than me. Who knows? That'd be interesting. Do you have a game plan for this or is it just... Um, well, running for an hour is quite a challenge in yeah, itself. Um, I don't envy you. <laughs> I don't think I could run for that long. <laughs> so yeah, it's about pacing and just trying to actually keep running for an hour and then, so I think I might build as I go on so I know that I can definitely do it. Good plan, well it's more than a plan than I've got. I'm just gonna <laughs> just go for it. At least you're sat down on. for all of it. Yeah, true, quite comfy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's time to get kitted up and start warming up for our hour of calorie burning. Heather is gonna be on the treadmill and I'm gonna be on the Wahoo trainer. Also doing this indoors, we're gonna be able to keep an eye on each other for a little bit extra motivation. So Heather, for someone who's experienced both of these sports at a very high level, what one do you prefer? Do you have a favourite? It depends on the time of year as to which I prefer, but if it was for burning calories, if I wanted to burn the most, I would go for running because it's just, I feel it's, you get more bang for your buck and obviously it's a far more accessible sport too. But with cycling, you can travel further. You can eat whilst you ride. Pretty much anybody can run. You can choose when you go hard and you can freewheel down the hills. Definitely can't do that with running. But Manon, with running, all you need is a pair of trainers. Okay, we could go on about this debate all day long, but I think it's time we get down to the test. Right, Heather, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. See you in an hour. you've got a number of calories that you're aiming for roughly um, it's so hard to know because I look when you asked me to do this challenge I looked at some of my previous runs and like the last one I did in treadmill I only did 250 in half an hour but I'm running a bit harder so I'm hoping I don't know like maybe 700 um, good, then. if I can hold this pace for long enough what yeah. about you I'm aiming, aiming for 7-800 I think, oh. but I have gone out a little bit too hard, so 
going to have to calm it down to get through the hour. Well, my heart rate's reading a bit lower than I, I was hoping it would be, so I'm hoping it's going more off my pace than off my heart rate at the I moment. I hope so too. <laughs> to have a pretty good cool down because I definitely needed it after that but we have got the results in Heather break it to me how many calories I, is it? Well, I'm feeling confident because I have was ahead for most of it so yeah. hopefully I've cinched it um, 696 696 that was more than me I did 575 so quite a bit more yeah but that is although I was just beneath my target I was I was so annoyed if I'd seen yeah. it I couldn't quite see the screen and I was four calories off my target but. yeah well you were up in your pace towards the end whereas I was yeah. definitely going are you, are you the other way are you a bit disappointed that you weren't close to your sort of what you thought you'd be I don't know, yeah, I did think it'll be a little bit more, but maybe I just wasn't going hard enough today. I don't know, I yeah. was looking at your watts and your heart rate and you look like, your heart rate was so high, I'm impressed yeah, with Yeah, it was pretty how high. Much, but I think if I cycled, I would have burnt way less than, than you did. But I'd love to know what you think if you tried running. I mean, I definitely couldn't run for an hour. It'd be a lot of intervals, but I think I would, I think I'd burn quite a lot of calories because I just can't run very well. So yeah, it'll be interesting. So, have to try it, I think. Yeah, one day. that'll be another challenge for another day. But I have <laughs> actually got a little treat for you, Heather. I have got 696 calories lined up. Oh. And it is equivalent to a whole bar of chocolate and a custard cream and a half, <laughs> which I have half. Oh, I definitely earned that extra you. half, didn't I? Yeah. That was that was probably that extra spurt at the yeah, end. Yeah. God, I'm glad I put that effort in. <laughs> I must admit, I'm I am disappointed that a whole hour of running just equates to that. I know it's not a lot, is it? Makes me quite sad actually because I demolished that in 10 minutes. <laughs> we all know the number of calories you burn depends on the intensity and time you exercise for. Cycling tends to be a lot more gentle on the body, meaning you can do it for longer periods of time. While running might burn more calories, you will do it for shorter periods of time. I know I can't run for more than 10 or 15 minutes without really struggling. The point is, you can always tailor your exercise to the outcome you want. If you want to drain yourself and burn as many calories as you want, then you can do that. But you don't have to do it every single time. Well, Manon, I'm very grateful and I don't want to sound ungrateful. I'm just not a massive fan of um, this chocolate and biscuits. So oh. I reckon you, you've earned just about most of that. So I think um, I'm going to have probably just under half just over half of the bar of chocolate, probably. But thanks, Heather. I'll, I'll <laughs> smash this, don't worry. <laughs> well, you might beat me at that, but I do just need to finish by saying that, to clarify, that GTN did win this challenge. Yes, yes, I know. Yes, you have won a challenge. But there are going to be many more challenges that GTN <laughs> might win in the future. So, Who knows? Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us for this challenge today, Heather. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy.